Hello everyone, this is Marga from Marga Diaries. So in this video, we're gonna talk about premature birth, how to deal with prematurity, and mga tips na pwede kong maibigay sa inyo because as you all know, Alaric is a preemie baby. So disclaimer lang, I know you've seen like a post of me doing Tip Tuesdays, share it Saturdays, but that's how far I could go about talking about Alaric situation, about prematurity and stuff. Open ako sa APAS kasi APAS was the condition when I was pregnant eh. Hindi ko pa nakakasama si Alaric nun. Pero I wasn't really open open or I, I don't talk about Alaric being premature at all in my page, in my vlogs, in Instagram, in my blog. No, I, I really don't talk about it. Um, it makes me tear up. So, disclaimer lang, may iyak ako dito sa video na to. Kasi, it's hard eh. It's hard to recall. It's hard to reminisce. It's hard to look back. Pero, I'm trying to do it because yesterday, uh, I was with a preemie mom date. Um, kinuha ako ni Lisa. She's the founder of She's a dear friend of mine. Um, she invited me to introduce myself and talk to other preemie moms because they could relate to what I had been through. So I said yes, but I didn't want to give a big deal out of it. So I said, I asked her, do you want me to prepare something like a slideshow and stuff like that? about prematurity and ang bigat mabigat alalahanin pero sobrang thankful kasi nalagpasan namin sa kanang mga anak namin so this this video is all about my story how to prevent prematurity kung kaya di ba sa kaanong causes ng prematurity how to deal with prematurity this is gonna be a really long video mind you may una na ko just in case Ayun, um, just hang out with me na lang. Let's talk about it. If kung paiyak man kayo, paiyak kayo. Kasi alam ko ako, maiiyak talaga ako. So, ayun. Let's talk. So, sorry kanina. Naka-on kasi yung fan. Kasi may sakit si Edward. So, ayoko mag-aircon. So, pina-on ko na lang yung aircon sa kanya para hindi ma marinig yung feedback to ng fan. Okay. First, I'm gonna tell you about... <coughs> Si Edward sick kasi. He's here. Sorry about that. So, first, I'm gonna talk about my story. So, everyone knows I'm APAS. So, yon talaga open ako dun sa topic na yon. Everyone knows I'm APAS. So, I wasn't really sure that Alari could be born prematurely kasi ang usapan namin with my OB was 37 weeks ilalabas na si Alari via C-section. Kasi, um, ganun na lang yung, ano, mature na yung lungs niya. So, at around 32 weeks, ay 28 weeks, saka 32 weeks, na injection na na ako for um, steroids para sa lungs ni Alaric. So, okay, okay, ganyan. At around 34 weeks, tapos and 6 days, nagpa-check out, nagpa-check kami ulit, routine check-up lang. Routine, um, in between this talk na lang, I'll flash photos para tuloy-tuloy tayo. Routine check-up lang. So, pos, nung in ako, nakita, 2cm na ako. But you know, I didn't feel anything. I was practically walking, I was eating, at uh, nag-ano na, nagko-contract, pero that was normal daw eh. Parang hindi naman, malayo naman yung, yung, ano, yung gap ng contraction. So that, that was normal. So hindi na ako pinauwi. Ay, ne, umuwi pa ako. Tapos, nagtataka na ako, pagka uwi ko, yun na nadadalas na yung contractions ko. Tapos may cat, bummer ginigising niya at around 4 a.m. Doon ko na feel na I wanted to go to the hospital already. So, pumunta na kami ng hospital. Tapos, at around 35 weeks, at 12 noon, pinanganak si Alaric. 
he was so small, like, I'll show you photos, itong mga ibang photos na to nilabas ko, pero yung mga iba, hindi ko talaga kayang ilabas, pero if a flash ko na lang, he was so small, at 35 weeks, there wasn't any complications at that time, so hindi siya na-incubate, but he was so small, he needed to be, dalawang lamp yung nakadikit sa kanya at that time, because sobrang ini, ay kailangan niya mainitan, bumababa yung blood pressure niya, and stuff, in fairness naman, na phototherapy kami for 48 hours, naging okay naman siya, we stayed in the hospital for 10 days, we stayed in the hospital for 10 days, tapos Alaric stayed in the NICU for 6 days, hindi pa ka, ginawa kong hotel talaga yung, ginawa kong hotel talaga yung, yung, um, yung hospital, kasi ayaw ko iwan yung anak ko, I know other moms na iwan nyo, pero ako, hindi ko talaga kinaya, hindi ko rin alam kung anong ginawa ng doctor namin na way, para ginawa kong hospital yun. So, kasama ko si Alaric. Alari, when Alaric was in the NICU, of course, I wanted to breastfeed him. Sobrang daming struggles. Kasi at the first try, hindi niya alam. As in, kakalabas ko lang ng operating room no na, syempre, magsistay ka pa ng one hour dun sa parang waiting ka, diba? Tapos, dinala ka na sa room. Ano, okay, may anesthesia pa ako noon, pero nagpapunta na ako doon. Kasi I wanted to see Alaric. Kasi he was crying when I gave birth. So, I just really wanted to see him. So, itong photos na to, hindi ko to pinakita with anyone. Uh, I'll just flash it na lang. Hindi ko pinakita. So, I was trying to latch him. Hindi siya marunong. So, parang, ang liit ng baby ko. If I could recall, he was just this small. If, if you see my hand, he was just that small. And having to latch someone who's that small is really quite difficult. So, nagpapatulong ako. Sorry. Nagpapatulong ako sa nurse. Tinatry naman ni nurse. Pero sabi niya, um, try lang nang try. Tapos, nagpapatugtog ako ng music. Mga ganyan. Kasi, syempre, nasanay si Alaric feeling ko nung nandun sa breast ko, ba? So, every two hours, I go to the NICU from my room just to latch Alaric. So, at around the third day, saka siya natutong mag-latch. But, the sad thing was, he was really just too small. I didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Even the nurses, even if they tell you actually, kung anong kailangan mong gawin, hindi mo rin naman may intindihan eh. Kasi at that time, you just question yourself, did I do something wrong? So, diba? Mga ganon. So, ano, I just really needed support and thank God I had like, Edward was there. Edward visited every day, hindi siya doon natutulog kasi syempre, medyo malaki yung bill namin doon, so he needed to get money so my sister was there, my mom was there so, sobrang trying time noon for me, for my family kasi wala namang nag premature birth sa aming family my mom was okay birthing us at 39 weeks mga gaya. my sisters were all normal, ako lang so wala akong wala akong back up, parang wala akong mahuhugutan ng health. Tapos, thank God na merong Primi Philippines. It was a different name pa before, pero thank God na sinali ako sa premature baby sa Philippines. Tapos, dun nabasa ko uh, hopeful stories about babies really small and stuff. It really helped me. So, kung kayo Primi Mommy kayo, go add up, go follow, go join. Kasi yung mga stories dun is really hopeful. Talaga. Um, nung nag-phototherapy kami, in advice sa akin na iwan ko si Alaric pero no, I wanted to KMC my son, if you don't know what KMC so KMC is yung nakahubad care para it's kangaroo mother care, nakahubad care para ako ng baby mo, tapos nakasleep sila dito sa chest part mo parang ano um, parang yung warmth ng katawan mo yun yung nafe-feel ng baby mo so I did that to Alaric, siguro up to 3 months yata, 2 to two, 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 3 months na ginawa ko talaga yun sa kanya pero nung na ano siya, na phototherapy siya for 48 hours pakita ko rin yung photo sa inyo I'm super open about this instead of him being in the bed I wanted to carry him so pati ako na phototherapy so, those were the hardships talaga. Nobody really knows how to handle a premature baby. Not unless you are in the situation, diba? Just, and dami-dami pa naming struggle. So, um, I just wanted people to be aware now that I'm pretty much open to it. Before, hindi talaga ako open because 
every time I think about the hardships, the struggles that I've been through, talagang it tears me up. I'm a strong girl. I'm a strong person. I have a strong personality. But ever since I became a mom, I became a mom of a premature baby. It opened me up to a whole lot of emotions. You know, when your child is fighting for his life, all you can do is fight for them also in the best way you can. Even if you don't know if they're like 50-50 or if kakayanin ba nila. Because you know, ang dami nakakabit sa kanila, you wouldn't know. Diba? So, medyo thankful pa ako at konti actually because Alaric was born at 35 weeks at hindi siya na-incubate. Pero marami pa rin kaming napagdaanan. How much more yung mga mommies na less than, 20, less than 30, mga 29, 28, 27? Iba. Iba yung experience na it really gives you much more hope for your family, for your son. Maybe that's why I mean this platform then is to let people know. I, I'm not open about the prematurity thing like I said. It's not because nahihiya ako. It's because I get too round up about it. I get too emotional about it. It's 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 overwhelming. But, ayun, ganun yung story ko. Actually, it's not the whole story. I can't tell you everything because as you can see, it really gives me so much emotions. So, okay. I'm just gonna read na lang muna. Um, Ten, you know, 10% of births here in the whole world, 10% of births, see, kokonte, 10% of births are born prematurely. 10% of babies are born prematurely. So, sobrang katiting ng mga may alam ng prematurity. Yun yung, yun yun kami. So, kami yun, kami yun, kami yun. So, here in the Philippines, wala masyadong may alam. You know, it took us super hard to find diapers because walang uh, readily available sa market. So, I'm just like, I want Pampers, Huggies, every diaper brand to please try to idala nyo naman dito sa Philippines dahil it, it was so hard. You know, ang ginagawa namin sa diaper ni Alaric, you would roll it three times. Tapos yun yung nilalagay namin ng tape. Because, hindi kasha sa kanya eh. He was three times smaller than a normal baby. So, just imagine that small, di ba? This small, di ba? He was born at 1,800 grams that small. Tapos, malaki pa coke sa kanya, guys. Imagine. So, I just really hope na ganun. Tapos, only Barnes clothing was available for clothing. Alaric's clothes were three times smaller than him. So I just wish and I appeal to other ano other brands to bring premature clothes, the premature diapers because we really needed them. Mga booties, mga ganyan, mga bonnet, 'di ba? So anyways, 10% of birth 'yon. Tapos ang main causes is because of UTA. Actually, 'yun yung naging cause ng premature birth ko. I had uh, a blood infection, not not urinary tract infection. Pero for me, it was infection, blood yung sa akin. Ah, yun ang pinaka-most common. Kasi yun yung nagkakaroon tayo ng premature contractions. That's why nag-open na yung, um, nag-open na yung bahay bata natin. Because of, yun yung pinaka-common. Tapos, um, ang tag mo dito, 90% ng mga premature babies usually nagagawa is CS. Nasi CS sila. But luckily for me, hindi ako na CS. Because, uh, I was apas, I was taking aspilet. So, baka mamatay kami pareho ni Alaric kung sinies ako. Kasi sobrang thin ng blood ko. Kasi, di ba, hindi nga siya nabubuhay sa sobrang lapot naman ng blood ko. So, see the complication. It was really, really hard. Ano yun eh, tag, tag of war yung decisions namin. Right then and there, nung dinala na ako sa hospital, I was 4CM already. So, tinanong na ako, Edward wasn't there, my sister was just there, my mom was flying in from Tugigaraw, and I was just lying down in pain already because nararamdaman ko na eh. I was 4CM already. So, I needed to make the decision. I was... I the the uh, may OB called me. Tapos di kaya mo bang inormal? Tapos I I don't know eh. I was in the situation already. Shamper sa bihin ko kaya ko kasi ang unang unang yung sinabi if masisies ka hindi natin alam kung anong manye. Of course everything that happens running through your head sobrang hirap. So of course you wanted your baby to survive, de ba? So, di, sabi niya, hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari because sobrang tin ng blood mo because of aspilets. 
I needed to make a decision. And of course, I wanted to give birth. Not cut. So when my OB called me, of course, I wanted to give birth normally. Kay Alaric. Because yun na yung situation namin eh. It's either we both die or I give birth to him normally and kayanin ko. And thank God na kaya ko. And you know, sobrang God is good kasi dalawang pushes lang, dalawang 10 seconds lang na ilabas ko na siya. So at, at around 12 noon, 12 noon talaga sakto na, na panganak ko na si Alaric. So, of course, another cause is genetics. Kasi usually, kung kunwari pinanganak ka ng premature, mga ganon, sa genetics na din. Or yung mommy mo, pinanganak ka ng premature, ganon yon Tapos, next is yung sa placenta. Maraming issues na ganito. I don't know anything about it, but that's another cause. And another cause is, kung nare sa first baby mo, premature na, of course, usually, ganun na din sa second baby mo. Sa second baby mo, premature na din. Mga ganun. Daming kwento na ganyan. So, yun yung mga top three, at uh, top four main causes ng premature births. And, you know, it's not your fault. I just want to tell you, it's not our fault that our babies are premature. You can't blame yourself because that's that's the sad part that I did the whole time that I was in the hospital. Because, I was blaming myself eh. Kasi, at that time, iniisip ko, kasi I eat sa, just, just this is disclaimer, kumain kasi ako nun ng parang chicken sa road. Alam mo yon yung mga binibentan chicken. So, dun ako nagkaroon ng blood infection. Eh, sobrang natatakam ako kasi buntis ako. So, yun yung kinain ko. So, yun yung naging reason dun sa blood infection ko. So, sobrang sinisi ko yung sarili ko for a good while. I think it was around one week na sinisisi ko yung sarili ko na parang dapat di ko na lang kinain, di ba? Diba? Yung mga ganun, for it's not our fault. Don't blame yourself. I, 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 I'm here to tell you that it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Ano na lang talaga, it's God's will, it's God's time for you to experience something like that. And you know, the suffering that we experience, it's, it's a whole different thing and it changes us like I keep on saying. Um, yun, um, yun yung causes niya. Tapos, how to deal with it? First, you need, really need to man up ako, alam mo yun, tanggapin mo na sa sarili mo, yun yun. Tapos, um, alagaan mo yung anak mo the best way you can. Tapos, you really need to have a support system. Um, ano pang mga, mga experience ko? Um, don't blame yourself. Don't blame others also. Because, you can't blame anyone eh. Because it's your child, your baby. You really need to man up to take care of them. Hindi sa sinasabi ko na hindi mo kailangan umiyak. No, I was crying. Around the third day, I was crying a whole lot because Alari couldn't even latch. Sobrang hirap magpa-breastfeed ng Nico baby. I mean, so, nakat yung sinabi ko. I needed to wear my glasses as I needed to uh, contain myself kasi medyo naging super emotional na ako kanina. So, okay. Whew. So, uh, the thing I was saying was, sobrang hirap magpalatch ng Nico Baby. Sobrang hirap magpa-breastfeed ng Nico Baby. I wanted to breastfeed Alaric so much because he was that small. So, parang hindi ko in-expect na mangyayari lahat yun sa akin. Alam nyo yun? I know I was apas. I know I was giving birth to an apas baby. Was I wasn't sure that I was giving birth to a preemie baby because... I didn't know. I didn't research. Apas, I research. I knew I had apas. I didn't know that I was having a premature baby. So, I wrote down things, ah. Like, I, kanina nakita niyo itong notebook ko. I wrote down things. So, okay. Um, dun sa mga how to cope up with the premature, uh, with prematurity birth, um, accept how your partners react and respect how he feels. Because at that time, I, I Edward was uh, saying na parang patang liit niya, mga ganyan tanggapin lang natin kasi they didn't know also naman na mangyayari sa uh, inyong pareho yun, ba? so just accept how he deals with it and talk to him about it tapos i-assure nyo lang din na kaya nyong alagaan yung anak ninyo ako kasi nung time na yon ay hindi niya kayang hawakan si Alaric I'll show you a video na I tried to let him hold Alaric he was he was shaking, hindi niya alam after like 10 seconds binag- binalik niya sa akin si Alaric so just accept and just give him knowledge about it next is so next is taking care of yourself um, try to 
to just be with your baby. Try to take care of yourself. Ako noon, we hired a midwife. I know some of you maybe hindi kayang mag-hire ng midwife. Pero nung time na yon kasi nagulat kami sa situation namin. So, we wanted really a midwife to take care of us, to to tell me what to do with my son, to have sleep also. Naalala ko noon, ang tulog ko, 2 hours, 3 hours, minsan 30 minutes, tas nagigising ako to breastfeed Alaric because he was super small, so I just really wanted to breastfeed him. So, taking care of yourself is a big factor also to paano ka magko-cope up sa prematurity. Tapos next, avoid stress. Ako noon, um, I don't know if some of you would believe this, pero kasi member pa rin ako hanggang ngayon, pero before, um, you know, breastfeeding pinays, medyo kasi nakakaano sila eh, um, dinadoubt mo yung sarili mo. So, minute ko sila, I, I did a post asking about breast milk, how to breastfeed, eh, sila naman, abundant naman sila sa milk, ako hindi eh, di ba, low milk supply ako. So, instead of helping, parang nabash pa ako, so, I muted the group, pero I'm still a member up until now. I muted the group nung time na yon para less stress sa akin. Kasi syempre, iba na nga yung experiences natin. Papatungan pa nila, ba So, just avoid having stress. Tapos text, be with your baby. Talk to them. Ako noon, kung alam nyo lang, ang pangit ng boses ko pag kumakanta. Pero sobrang kinakantahan ko si Alaric kung ano-anong him yung ginagawa ko tapos I talk to him kahit nung nasa, chest, nasa hospital lang kami nagki-KMC ako tapos kinakausap ko tala yung baby ko para rin maging ano, parang conversation even if walang sumasagot sa inyo at least naririnig kayo ng baby nyo at that time I remember whenever he is crying tapos kinakausap ko siya nawawala yung pag-iyak niya mga ganon so nasusut sila sa boses natin Next is, okay. Tapos, ano, talk to the nurses. to to. Ito lagi ko ginagawa ng talk to the nurses, talk to the doctors, be knowledgeable kung ano yung mga hindi nyo pa alam. Kailangan natin yun eh. Kasi syempre, tanong nyo, lalo na yung mga terms nila, mga ganyan, kausapin nyo kung paano yung mga terms, kung anong ibig sabihin ng terms, para konti-konti, maging knowledgeable kayo sa prematurity, kung anong cost ni nun, kung anong nangyayari. Kasi syempre, panic agad tayo parating mga nanay. Eh. Normal na sa atin mag-panic, pero not unless knowledgeable tayo, saka lang tayo magiging pa. Oo yun, never compare. Kasi noon, nung nakalabas na si Alaric sa Nico, so, na room in na siya sa akin. So, we still stayed in the hospital. Na room in na siya sa akin. So, nakikita ko na full term yung baby nila. Na malalaki yung baby nila. Ako, at that time, I really wanted to compare. Pero, thank God, na hindi ko ginawa. Na hindi ko, hindi na lang ako lumalabas ng room. Ang nagpapainit na lang kay Alaric, yung sister ko. Kasi, um, it really makes a difference na naisip mo lang yung baby mo hindi mo na i-compare sa iba kasi syempre pag kinompare mo yun talagang mapapaisip ka talaga so just don't compare tapos uh, ito na yung pinaka last na hin- lagi kong ginagawa nung buntis ako uh, don't confide with Dr. Google as in don't go for Google don't search in Google wag kasi you know mas lalo ka pang masistress so, yun na yun isa din sa sinabi ko wag tayong magpapastress so, wag na wag nyong gagawin yun. Yun yung mga, mga advices ko sa inyo, how to deal with prematurity. Tapos, dun sa man sa experiences ko, um, kung paano ako na, na, nung naiuwi ko na si Alaric. So, nung naiuwi ko na si Alaric, for me, the number one is, always talk to your baby. Um, your baby is the reason why you're fighting. Because, you know, they fought for their life. Yun talaga lagi kong sinasabi. Our children, nung nasa chan pa lang natin, so, ilabas na natin sa, they were fighting for their lives to be alive. Lahat ginawa nila para maging alive. Now, it's your turn to fight for them. Let, that, yun talaga yun. You know, I remember when we were in phototherapy, um, Alaric was it was moving, pero like, minimal moving lang. So, I just, I was kind of worried, pero I didn't show, I didn't want to feel it that I was kind of worried, mga ganyan, because he was really small. So, nung time na yon, I was just talking to him, KMC, kasi yun talaga nakakasut talaga sa kanila yun eh. Um, a whole lot of hardships lahat. Alam mo, I, I said this yesterday, na hindi man pare-pareho yung experiences natin, but the sufferings that we experience, that we encounter, are mainly the same. Because, you know, 
lahat tayo nahirapan, lahat tayo nakalagpas doon. Now it's our time to give give people advices about it kasi ano eh um like I said it's quite difficult. Hindi siya common. Like I said kanina, 10% lang, 'di ba? So I hope this video could um reach people na who really needs it. Kasi hi it's my first ever video about prematurity and I'm not gonna stop um, I'm part of Premi Philippines and I really really am an advocate of it an advocate of breastfeeding I'm an advocate of premature births so I just want to let people know here in the Philippines about prematurity and this is my first video about it so I hope you learned something in this video about how to cope up with prematurity. I'll talk more about this. I promise. Uh, this is just part one. Medyo, medyo emotional pa ako. Konti. Pero hindi ko, na, 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 hindi ako naiyak. Pero, hindi ako masyadong naiyak. Iyak ako, pero hindi masyado, di ba? Pero, ayun, may, may cat is here. Bummer. Stop doing that. See? Bummer. Hello. He's the reason why Alaric and I are okay. So, sobrang thankful ako sa cat ko na yun. So, ayun, this is just part 1 like I said, kasi meron pa akong ibang gustong i-share sa inyo, lalo na sa about premature birth and how to deal with it, how I coped up with it. Hindi ko pa nasasabi, pero gusto ko gumawa ng step by step step, step by step na experience ko. I'll write it down. And, ayun, some of the photos are really like sa akin lang, pero I wanted to share it with you because I'm finally trying to be okay. After like 17 months, imagine, ngayon lang ako naging finally open about it. It was the first talk I did about prematurity. And, you know, everyone in the room was crying. Like, uh, my, I'll show you like snaps of it na lang. Some of my friends were there na na-shock sila because I don't really cry. I don't really feel that much emotion about anything pero if it's about my son it's about my experience it really just it's a quite difficult thing to um convey to people uh you know um try to be the kind to premature moms uh, uh, like i said sa dun nga away stay away from stress uh, i wish na other moms who have normal delivery could try to be nicer to us kasi iba eh, iba talaga you can say na ilatch mo lang yan you, you, you can say na ilalatch lang namin yung anak namin but you know, the difficulty of it kasi yung baby ninyo may capacity na to latch, may capacity na to suck, our baby wala, and because they were born uh, ahead eh so parang yung capacity nila to suck inside of, di ba? Hindi, hindi nila nagagawa yun. Sometimes our nipples are too big. Sometimes our nipples are too too small. Sometimes it's hard because hindi nila alam na isasak pala nila. Mga ganyan. So be kind to people like me. Be kind to everyone who's struggling. Not just like premature moms. Not just premature babies. Because in all honesty, what? Ito? Ay nandito si Juliet <laughs> because in all honesty, lahat tayo may struggles pero it's really something different for you to experience that um, other moms, I've heard a lot of stories about moms having their baby have pneumonia, sepsis it's really a journey so this is just part so this is just part 1 like I said so ang dami pang parts ito like comment down below kung anong gusto nyong malaman if you want me to talk about um prematurity ng nasa Nico kami kung anong mga tips na masasabi ko hindi ko nasabi kanina pero eto yun lang yun lang so please like this video share it if you may because sobrang dami kong nasabi dito na tipong parang kailangan talaga natin like clothing for our children uh, milk for our children lalo na yung mga hindi pa nagpapa hindi kayang magpa breastfeed diba lalo na pag nasa Nico yung baby nila tapos what else diapers of course so thank you thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell I'm here every Wednesday, Friday Saturday at 12 noon and I'm hoping to see you again and please don't forget to like my Facebook page and Instagram page thank you, thank you so much for watching see you again, bye